I'm going to show you the fastest way that you can actually level up in Throne and Liberty. So, one of the main ways that you are actually going to be leveling up is through going through the Codex here. So the Codex, under Adventure, this is actually the main storyline. And this is probably one of the best ways for you to level up. You can see here, under each chapter, how much experience you're going to get for completing each one. And doing these does offer a lot. Doing the main ones in the middle here, as you can see, these ones are offering 14,000, 23,000, and 15, 16,000 here are going to offer the most. Any that come up on the sides here generally offer, um, well, not these ones per se, but more these ones that are kind of like side ones. You can see that one only offers 399, 5,000, and 11,000, whereas that one gave 18,000. So if you do want to level up really quickly, I would even advise to actually skip like these three here, for example, and then go on to the next chapter, which is chapter five in my instance. Another way that you can get a fair amount of XP is going to be doing exploration codexes as well. These may only take like five minutes, I would say. And you can see here, each bit of it gives a little bit of XP. So in this one, I've got to do four different things. It probably takes about 10 minutes. I have got guides for all of these on my channel. And you can see that doing step one gives 150 experience. Step two gives 300. Step three gives 100. And step four gives 420. So overall, it's about 1,000 experience. And this is very low level, um, just for that overall one there. You can then see like here, Elemental Tree Harvest in the Nesting Grounds. This is one I'll be doing shortly. I've got 5,000 XP, 27,000, and 7,000. This is an insane amount of XP for my level. Whereas in Adventure, the chapters I'm currently doing, the main chapter only ended with 18,000 experience. Whereas as I'm saying, these quick little side quests literally give nearly or sometimes more experience than the main storyline. So these are also an amazing way of actually leveling up as well so basically what i'm saying is go in your codex and see what is available to you at the time and that is really what you want to be doing um to actually level up the fastest you can do things like dungeons however the experience i'm getting in here really isn't that efficient for how long they take and there is secret dungeons that you'll unlock at about level 20 i believe it is I would definitely say to do each level of these floors once in the secret dungeon. You can see here, level three gives me another 10,000. And that's literally going to take you like five minutes, if that. But however, they do only unlock at certain levels like 27, 31, 35, and 39, however. But considering they only take a few minutes to do, I would do them as soon as you unlock each relevant one. And that, guys, is the fastest ways that you can level up in Throne and Liberty. Check out the playlist you now see for tons more guides in this game.